if you like these golden smoky eyes do check out the tutorial so we're going to start the smoky eyes with gold look today and i'm going to be using this according to me yummy palette and i have selected two goals but we shall go with this one the brighter one because today is going to be a bit of heavy makeup like everybody likes it so shall we start so i have primed my face with this, this is the mac prep and prime uh just keeps the makeup on longer gives a smoother surface blah 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 you guys know so let's start with the eye makeup now considering we're going to use black on our eyes as usual i will finish the eye makeup first and then i will go in with the foundation i've already put some prep and prime on top of my eyes when i put it all over my face but now we're going to use a little concealer just a little bit blend it out Keeping the upper eyelid matte makes it easier to apply eyeshadow so that you don't get these oily lines or sweat lines. So after the concealer, I will take a little bit of my studio fix and then just lightly apply it to prep my eyes. Okay, so this time for the look, I'm going to start with my crease line and I'm going to take a light brownish orangish color this is riff this one it's from the born to run palette by urban decay i will write it down and you take a soft brush not a very harsh brush a soft brush and you put on the crease don't come onto the upper eyelid Blend it really well. So that's a soft uh, contouring of the crease line. Next, now. I'm going to go into the crease line with a slightly darker brown. This was an orangish color. This is going to be a light brown, but darker than this. This is by MAC. And it's called, okay, it's Hawks or Haw, whatever, H-A-U-X. I'll write it down. And with the same brush, I'm going to go in to the same areas. A little darker here on the outer corner. Keep blending because this step actually makes the eye, eye makeup look better. Keep blending. Now we'll start with the black. So this is the black eyeshadow I've taken. This is Black Art by Urban Decay. It's a favorite of mine. But please go in with whatever matte black eyeshadow that you like. And take a pencil brush. This is the MAC pencil brush. I think 219 but I'll confirm. I could be wrong here. And we'll go into the outer corner and the inner corner. Leaving the center. We don't put any black on the center. This actually falls on the face which is why I've not done the base. So let's start like this way don't cross the crease or go into the crease a little bit now you can also do this part if you want it more dark with a a, a liquid uh, sorry a gel eyeliner or a cream eyeshadow or a kajal that a coal that 
smudge as well but I'm not going that intense in a corner mildly define the crease it's quite a dramatic look but it's fun also in gold or silver smoky eyes you'll see people keep this part paler and this part darker that's also a nice look but here i'm trying to pop the center i can intensify the color based on how i want it So I've prepped my eyes and now I'm going to soften the crease line by mixing two browns. This is Brown Down by MAC and this is Texture by MAC because I do, I do not want the harsh lines. It shouldn't be darker than the orange which you've put outside yet it should be lighter than the black. Dramatic. Take a little bit of concealer, very little, and put it on the white part. I'm taking a small flat brush and I've taken the gold color that I chose, press it on. These looks require patience. I do have less of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Now I've applied the gold, but it's still very harsh. So we have to blend the black into the gold. This one's from Sephora. And then you start shading it from outside to inside. I hope it's visible. And then you just soften out this, the sides. And you do the same here. This is a dark brown. Don't use the black here. You can darken the black on the sides if you want to make it more intense. But around this gold, keep it brown. So it's like a transition. You just have to make sure that you balance out both the eyes. No harsh lines. And this is because I've used the brown, not the black. That's the trick. Next, I've done the 
daily look foundation in the previous videos have a look i shall apply the foundation and come back so I've done the foundation uh, and I've skipped the step here because you can see it from the previous videos. But uh, I didn't want to give a break uh, in the eye makeup. So we'll continue with the lower lash now. So with the first orange color, we went around. See that one. With that, you take a brush that looks like this and you go down. Also, I want to uh, remind you guys, this is a good time to remember. Don't blow on your brushes. Not a good time. In general, not a good thing to do. Just tap it. You don't want germs on it. Now just blend it all in. So we take a smudge brush. Take a dark brown. Just a little bit here. Now, if you want to fill in your waterline with black kajal, that's also fine. It's, it's how you want to do it. The whole idea is to give it a smoky effect. Now, what I'll do is I will take a black coal once I find it and just a little bit on the lower lash line which we will blend out now you can act uh, you can actually finish the eye makeup here of course with the mascara and eyebrows will come but uh, which I always do. But then for some of you coal lovers, today I'm going to fill the black onto my waterline so that it looks a little more intense. And take the smudge brush again and just smudge it out so that there is no harsh line hmm. now eyebrows and brow bone eyebrows as usual I'm going to set it with the transparent setter And if you want to use a tinted one, you can. I don't really want to darken them. Next is brow bone and then mascara. Time to put a champagne shade on the brow bone. Usually I like putting a matte one, but considering we are shiny, shiny today, I'm going to put a shiny one. Again, let me remind you, put it only towards the outside. Do not come in till here. then go in with mascara now the reason I don't line the upper uh, uh, eyelid is because I don't want to put a break in the gold the gold should look gold eye makeup is done hope you like it and now lipstick. Now before using the nude lip liner, make sure you have a lip balm so it won't get dry. I'm going in for a dark wine lipstick. It's one of my favorites. You guys 
no it's after dark by urban decay and i'm lining my lips with night moth by mac For a neat application, I'm going to use a lip brush. Make sure you cover the lip liner. Time to contour. For details, see previous videos. Today, I'm going to use a uh, new brush on this is bobby brown pot rouge for lips and cheeks pale pink 11 number 11 just use your fingers and smile so it does apply little every time and build on it because Sometimes it all depends on the blush on. Like this is the first time I'm using it. It's quite intense. So I want to build little, little. Highlighter. And I like this brush. This is by Clinique. <clears throat> and the look is done hope you like it do you like these golden black smoky eyes watch the video <laughs>